Graduates, each of us is only here because someone else faced down challenges for us. We are only who we are because someone else struggled and sacrificed for us. That's not just Thurgood Marshall's story or Sierra's story or my story or your story. That is the story of America. Story whispered by slaves in the cotton fields. The song of marches in Selma. The dream of a king in the shadow of Lincoln. The prayer of immigrants who set out for a new world. The roar of women demanding the vote. The rallying cry of workers who built America. And the GIs who bled overseas for our freedom. Now it's your turn. And the good news is you're ready. And when your journey seems too hard, and when you run into a chorus of cynics who tell you that you're being foolish to keep believing, or that you can't do something, or that you should just give up, or you should just settle, you might say to yourself a little phrase that I found handy these last eight years. Yes, we can. Congratulations, class of 2016. Whether it's Confucius or Mark Twain or Shakespeare or Aristotle, the only reason profound insights resonate with us is because at some level, we already know them. That's an important thing to realize because it means that all of us are brilliant and profound. Somewhere deep inside, we all share the secrets of the world, the human condition, all of the arts and sciences. How you live your life determines how many of those secrets will be revealed to you. Pursuing knowledge and responsibility gets you halfway there. The other half can only be tapped by being a glorious and wonderful fool. I'm not saying be irresponsible. On the contrary, be grateful for your amazing Cornell education. Put it to good use and be great at whatever you do. But always nurture a healthy contempt for maturity and level-headedness. The world out there cultivates conformity and cynicism, but you don't have to. Take a stand, put up a fight, be a fool. Thank you, congratulations, and good luck. That tradition. Tre treasure the associations and friendships and working relationships with, the, relationships with the people in your classes and your early work. You never know what might come from it. There could be a major creative shift or a small detail that can make a major impression. In Taxi Driver, Marty and I wanted Travis Bickle to cut his hair into a mohawk, an important character detail. But I couldn't do it because I needed long hair for the last tycoon that was starting right after Taxi Driver, and we knew a false mohawk, we knew, we knew a false mohawk would look, well, false. So we were kicking it around one day at lunch and decided to give it one shot with the very best makeup artist at the time, Dick Smith. If you saw the movie, you know that it worked. And by the way, now you know it wasn't real. <laughs> Friendships, good working relationships, collaboration, you just never know what's going to happen when you get together with your creative friends. Marty Scorsese was here last year speaking to the 2014 graduates. And now here I am, here we are, on Friday at a kind of supersized version of one of Allison's student lounge hangout sessions. <laughs> You're here to pause and celebrate your accomplishments so far as you move on to a rich and challenging future. And me, I'm here to hand out my pictures and resumes to the directing and producing graduates. <laughs> I'm excited and honored to be in a room full of young creators who make me hopeful about the future of the performing and media arts. I know you're going to make it, all of you. Break a leg. Next. Thank you. I know that... 
I know that you all might have a little anxiety now and hesitation about leaving the comfort of college and putting those Harvard credentials to the test. But no matter what challenges or setbacks or disappointments you may encounter along the way, you will find true success and happiness if you have only one goal. There really is only one, and that is this, to fulfill the highest, most truthful expression of yourself as a human being. You want to max out your humanity by using your energy to lift yourself up, your family, and the people around you. Theologian Howard Thurman said it best. He said, don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and then go do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. First, they will be sad. They're losing something they will never get back. And that's scary. I was scared. But they'll be okay. They just don't know that yet. We might not always know it. We might not always see it or hear it on the news or even feel it in our daily lives. But I have faith that no matter what, class of 2013, you will be okay. And you will make sure our country is okay. I have faith because of that nine-year-old girl who went out and collected the change. I have faith because of David and Francine Wheeler. I have faith because of Michael and Harris Stolzenberg. And I have faith because of you, the network of angels sitting here today. One of them, Khadija Williams, who came to Harvard four years ago. <laughs> Khadija had attended 12 schools in 12 years, living out of garbage bags, amongst pimps and prostitutes and drug dealers, homeless, going into department stores, Walmart in the morning to bathe herself so that she wouldn't smell in front of her classmates. And today she graduates as a member of the Harvard class of 2013. From time to time, you may stumble, fall. You will for sure count on this. No doubt, you will have questions and you will have doubts about your path. But I know this, if you're willing to listen, to be guided by that still small voice that is the GPS within yourself, to find out what makes you come alive you will be more than okay. You will be happy, you will be successful, and you will make a difference in the world. Congratulations, class of 2013. Congratulations to your family and friends.